Hello everyone, and peace of Christ all of you. Uh, we hear lately about uh, a few months ago, two months ago, we heard the Emirati uh, going in the space, Saudi going in the space, and now Saudi men and Saudi women in, in the space. And if you ask yourself, what is the point of this, uh, I mean, this trip, what exactly is the accomplishment? You will notice that this time they inserted the women in the in the mission and the whole purpose is nothing but a propaganda to make themselves look like a civil nations who they really appreciate women you know and they are not what you think you know like yeah they are wonderful I mean what do you want the Saudi they arrive to the space um, I find it very funny I'm going to call, call Uber, or Uber, whatever you call it, and uh, they will pick me up and take me to the airport. And that made me the one who made Uber. So they put a lot of money, they pay NASA, they pay all those American, whatever, they pay them a lot of money to just carry somebody for the sake of a propaganda to make themselves look like a better people and better civil nations. Uh, and then you ask yourself, why even NASA or the American or any other, you know, they take them with them? The answer is very simple. They put a lot of money and on the shelf, on the counter, uh, in order to take them. It's not for free. At the same time, like the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia or the Prince of Emirates, he will speak in the front of his people, look, we reach the moon, we are in the space. But in reality, they are the worst in technology. They are beyond, beyond anything. I mean, any little tiny town in Asia, they are better than any Arab countries in anything. What about you take us on a journey inside your jails so we can see how a human being disappear for making a post in Facebook. I mean, you send him to the moon without a spaceship. So the propaganda is very cheap. And actually, I find it very stupid because they are wasting their money for nothing. And are you going like, are you are you saying now that you are a person of technology? What is the, what is the purpose exactly? What you accomplish? Long time ago, when there was the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union, they send somebody from Syria, because at that time, the Soviet Union, they have a close relationship with Syria. Uh, the Saudi, uh, the American, they took one from Saudi Arabia. Aha! So you take one of their, we take our one of <laughs> And if you ask them, those who they are in the spaceship, what is their education? They would they they'd give them a title, uh, <laughs> astronomer specialist. <laughs> no, no, sorry, space specialist. <laughs> so I find it very funny. Uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, uh, they are trying this country trying to paint itself as a moderate, modern country with all the money they have. I mean, they should be, if you think about it, with all the money they have, they should beat everybody. I mean, they have a trillions of dollars coming from the ground. They do nothing to, 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 to make it happen. And yet, after a hundred years of oil and a treasure coming from the middle of nowhere, they don't have sewage. They don't have the most of the streets doesn't have asphalt. Now, for sure, you might they might show you pictures of big cities, but if you go between the people, you will see what I'm talking about. And then now, people they use septic tanks, <laughs> even in Mecca. So, uh, education is horrible. The number of uh, illiterate is a huge. Uh, unemployment is beyond imagination. Human rights don't even mention it. 
technology is just a fraud. Like as an example, Emirat or Qatar, they say to you, we build a manufacturer for aluminium, aluminium uh, uh, we say aluminium, and the USA they say aluminium. Uh, but if you check that every screw in that manufacturer is made and screwed and built by foreigners. Yet they claim that they have manufacturers. All the buildings. This building made by the designer is an Emirati. But reality is the Emirati is the one who owned the office. And the one who do the design is a foreign engineers. I mean, a building a building is something simple. We are not talking about technology now. I mean, it's not really something uh, uh, so uh, uh, a technoc. I mean, just follow the book, uh, uh, the measurement, the uh, the mathematics, uh, uh, calculation, concrete, steel, etc. It's not really a secret how to build a building. Uh, but I find it that by doing with this, as you will see in the screen in the front of us, I find it very embarrassing. And it's a clear sign that those nations will never go anywhere because they are disconnected from reality and they are seeking just propaganda, not reality. What about you build your own spaceship? As an example, Emirat, they send a satellite yes they made the satellite it's true that the engineer is you know he's korean and the one the, the assistants are korean it's true that the the, the the all the equipment are not made in emirat it's true that all the chips have nothing to do with emirat it's true that even the battery is not made in emirat <laughs> it's true but it's made in emirat so the question is, why those people waste their money? I will tell you the answer. Those are rulers trying to deceive their own people. Those naive people in those countries, when they see this, oh, wow, we are on the moon. If not the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, we will not be there. So now he can go on TV and say, we are improving everything. As you see, even we are now in a spaceship. Yes, we rented the American Uber. Yes, we paid them to take us. Uh, yes, we do not know anything about the ship. And yes, we cannot touch any bomb inside it. <laughs> and it's true that if we try to touch one, they hit us in our hand with the stick <laughs> but we are in the space and that is the accomplishment so this is make me uh, you know confirm that those countries have no future like now the crown prince of saudi arabia he want to build uh, i don't know how many mile long city and supposedly this will be city of technology will be an amazing city and i saw many videos on youtube talking about how amazing it's going to be trust me those people they built many cities before and they are dust. It is just a stupid, foolish investment. You know, when you wanna put an investment in a country, the first thing you need to find is the people. Those people don't want to work. They don't like to work. By nature, they will not be able to be successful. They spend their day, if you go right now in the Middle East, I am an Arab, I'm from the Middle East, you will see half of the day drinking tea and coffee. The other half, they are just gossiping. If you give them a job, the first two hours drinking tea, making sandwiches, and he take advantage of five time for a prayer, so he can take 20 minutes each time, so he don't, and, and 20 minutes for a prayer, 20 minutes for, for a, a, a pollution, and then the, the day is, is gone. The religion, the culture, the, the, the nature make them people who don't produce. And it doesn't matter how much money you invest. 
the only investment you can have if you build and bring foreigners as simple as that you know Arab by nature they are very proud people but by what about what I don't know even even by the way even the Christians not only Muslims like if you go to Lebanon as an example there is a huge number of Christians there's full territories there's nothing there but Christians you speak to any of them they are so proud very proud okay proud about what they are proud about poetry about authors about writers about but anything else zero they don't have electricity they don't have clean water they don't have clean streets they don't have the, the government collapsing but they are so proud they think they are coming from the sky they look at everybody down and this is the case for all the Arab speak to any Arab he will think that he is the top of the world 